Hi everybody, this is Donnie. I'm back again this week to film another Plan With Me video. This week I'm going to be using a kit by Paper and Gumption. It's a printable and it's available on Etsy at her shop, Paper and Gumption. Um, I've also got my Erin Condren planner. We're going to be in um, the week of July the 16th through the 22nd. Today is Monday the 16th. And I feel behind because I don't already have this week laid down, ready to write on. So I'm kind of like, I told my husband, I have to get this done now. So anyway, we're putting off some stuff till later today until I get this done. Because i got to write stuff down. Anyway, let me show you what I've got. Um, I'll start with the washi tape today. This little bowl is filled with Simply Gilded. I have the peach with the gold bow. The pink with the gold bow, and then this beautiful green, and I don't recall the color name. But because the kit has so much of this pretty green in it, um, I pulled the little stickers, um, the headers, that came as a freebie that you can print off and use those for my um, my color scheme to pull, in, you know, colors to pull in. I had a blast pulling all this together, let me tell you. I went through my collection of pen gems and pulled out those four colors that I had. Let's put it that way. They're not exact matches, but they do look so fun and summery all together. So I was excited to, to have those that I could pull in. Um, I also have these clips, these beautiful bow clips from the Creative Bee on Etsy, and a palm clip, this light green um, from palm peach palm i'm sorry peach palm so i'm going to incorporate one or two or whatever of these and i may even put them all across the top of my planner because i do like the way that looks so i've got those and then the second set of washi that i pulled out these are like my sundries my various um tapes that well they're just not simply gilded okay that's that's how i kind of categorize all of my washi, which is all across the front of my desk. I'll do a video uh, soon. I've been working really hard organizing my space so that I can um, do a video and show you kind of how I organize everything and where I keep everything. Um, I've been working on my stickers and my kits and stuff lately, so I'll, I'll film that pretty soon. But in my various washi tape drawers, I have these. These are either from um, Amazon or another store that I cannot recall the names of because they are so old. So um, I'm sorry I can't lead you to these. This one too is from another store or it's, it's probably more than likely a purchase I made through a um, buy sell trade group. I get a lot of my uh, other the other washi stuff through a buy sell trade this particular yellow though this y'all may recognize as a part of a kit that came not kit but a tube that came from Hobby Lobby that was extremely popular I was looking for the a yellow to use with the kit and this one is part of that tube so if y'all recognize this tape from a tube this is part of it so that's why I pulled that one out but I'm not going to use it and then let's look at the actual kit. I already showed you the freebie sheet. In her printouts, there are a number of different layouts uh, as she has progressed through the years that she's been on Etsy. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this might be one of the older ones where she actually had a, a file that was a freebie. And by the name, uh, by the way, the name of this kit is Summer Blooms, and I have to write that on some of her stuff. Um, a lot of the shops started out making kits, and they did not put the titles or the names of their kits on the actual sticker um, sheets that they had. So, anyway, here are the full boxes and some half boxes, some more half boxes. These are some of the, uh, there's the weekend banner and the sidebar stickers. And because I'm really bad at being able to name sticker 
names and shapes on the fly. I'm not going to. I'm just going to show you the sheets. And there's lots of lots of choices of these gorgeous stickers to choose from. I really love the patterns in this one. Um, so that's what drew me to choose this kit for this week. Plus the colors. The colors absolutely just, they, they were perfect. This was what I want to see for the week are these gorgeous colors. So anyway, I'm going to get started. Nobody has mentioned anything to me about me needing to pull the camera in closer and work closer up. If you find that you would prefer that over the way I'm actually doing it, would you please let me know? Um, to do so, I will need to get up and look into the, the back side of my phone, which is upside down on my desk above me here. Uh, I cannot see what you see at the moment. All I know is that there's a certain portion of my desk that I'm actually recording. And so I try to keep that in mind and keep it in frame at all times, just so y'all aren't, you know, looking at nothing while I'm working. I'm going to start this week by just laying down my bottom washi. And that'll give me something to work with as I start putting um, my washi tape down. I want to... I want to say that I'm going to pull in a lot of the greens because it's a cool color. The blues and greens are cool. And those are the, the colors that I'm most looking at when I look at this kit. So I'm going to probably concentrate more on blues and greens. I do, of course, have the peach. I chose the peach just because the inside of these yellow roses is pretty dark. And I don't have a yellow with gold bows washy. So I really thought that might work, but I may not use that peach, so don't be surprised if I don't. Um, these are really light, so I am going to go ahead. I'll speed you through this part. I'm going to white out the bottom. I'm going to white out the dates and those corner flags up there. And I'm just going to go ahead and start laying down the, the washi strips at the bottom. I will do the flag, the banner for the weekend, and I'll do the, the dates as well at this point.
Okay, well, let's have a look at this. I'm working on my full boxes now. I've already laid down all of the headers and the dates and flags and all. I worked on my banner for quite some time. Um, I wanted to definitely use these gorgeous full boxes, but I'm thinking I'm going to scatter them this time because I really like that look. So the first thing I want to do is to place the full boxes, and then I'm going to work around them. Um, this box is the same as this, so I need it to be up higher. And this is a big floral box, so I probably want to put a stripe, maybe, next to it. So I think I'm going to start and end maybe with the two yellow boxes. Well, and then I have four blue boxes, so how am I going to do that? I need to start with the blue boxes. And I wanted to put a stripe over here, but I'm thinking, hmm, I may just put this one. Just because I don't like that one as much. So I'm going to start on this row, I think. And I'm if y'all don't know this and you happen to use this particular one, this is just the Tombow uh, hybrid style mono correction tape. I get these in boxes off of Amazon and you can get a box. I'm, I'm reaching behind me because I want to show you this box. This is a 10 pack and um, you can get them for like 10 or 11 dollars on Amazon and then you just kind of will never run out. <laughs> Actually, I've got two boxes because I am almost out of one of my boxes. But anyway, it also, uh, this particular one has this little clip thingy at the bottom of it, tip of it, whatever you call it, that you can pull in and out. And if you throw this in a bag and don't want your tape to get messed up, you can just pull that down. That's what that is. Who knew? Anyway, that... That was kind of fun when I figured that out one day. I was like, what is that thing for? Why is it on there? I hadn't seen anybody else mess with it, so I didn't know what it was. So, anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there. That would be... I guess I'll put the pink in the middle. There's a lot of these stripes. So I'm going to just not worry about the stripes being near each other. want this one next I was wondering this kit by the way just makes me think of summer it makes me want to go swimming this kind of looks like you know waves and water down here to me um, how many of y'all learned how to swim when you were kids I did and it was only because that we actually grew up in a big city I grew up in Dallas and at the time I was a kid, our neighborhood parks and recreation department actually had a swimming pool. It was a concrete swimming pool, not the safest thing. And uh, my sister and brother and I all learned how to swim on in this concrete swimming pool, which is no longer in existence. It was taken out many years ago. And I have a friend, uh, from elementary school that our moms were best friends and they they would bring us all at the same time of course for lessons and uh, we went to school together and everything and we still have fond memories of learning how to swim in that concrete swimming pool <laughs> of course I'm in my 50s now so I'm definitely dating myself but I think I'm gonna uh, I need to use that Put one there and I think I'll put one here and then I'll come back and do those two so the pink was gonna be next um, I was gonna mention I was you know how you know when when I'm taping this and I'm thinking well what am I gonna talk about because you know I just don't want to be mom the whole time and be quiet the whole time I got to thinking since this really reminds me of a swimming pool um, I got to thinking about those fun times that we had, but also got to wondering, you know, how many of y'all know how to swim? 
Um, and how many of y'all have children that need to learn how to swim? I know a lot of y'all are young mothers, and I'm an old woman now. I have my grandmother. Yay! Finally. And so I'm, I'm pretty sure my son will be teaching my grandson eventually how to swim. But I happen to know that his wife does not know how to swim very well. Not yet. They're working on it. But I was kind of hopeful that y'all would take take some time and teach your your children to swim um it's and one of the main reasons i'm even bringing it up is because of the number of drownings i've been hearing about in my area i live in northeastern tennessee and it just floors me every summer how many young people not just children but teenagers and in their 20s even people in my area didn't know how to swim therefore when they take a chance or they try to save somebody who has fallen in off their boat or something uh, they end up drowning and that just hurts me to know that they have never learned how to swim and are able to you know to make it so if you're contemplating that and you still have time this summer to get your children into a swim class I highly recommend it a certified teacher is a must it is wonderful to be able to you know teach your own child how to swim but a certified instructor is the one that I learned from and um, I would highly recommend so just thought I would throw that in there if it saves your child's life, the investment is priceless, isn't it? I honestly feel confident that if somebody were to be in my presence and fall into the water, that I could safely rescue them. Um, as long as it was not anything bigger than a lake, maybe, you know, if I would not be caught out to sea, honestly, personally, because I don't prefer that. But um, I really think that I could save somebody if I had to with with what I know, because it's kind of like riding a bicycle. Once you've learned, you know how to react when you get in the water. That's what a whole lot of swimming is, is how to act, how your body will respond in water. And if you're not familiar with how to do that, how to breathe uh, when water is over your face, um, how to go about doing those types of things, then you are going to freak out and um, probably not make it. And that's a sad thing. Okay, let's go on. I hope this public service announcement will be heard. <laughs> I'm not one usually to use these. I think y'all call them little things. There it is right there, little things. But this week, because I really want to use the exact colors of the kit, and I'm not real fond of this particular glitter header, I think I might pull in some of these. I don't necessarily use a sidebar I don't track a lot of stuff. I'm not good at it, let's put it that way. But I like it to look pretty, so I am going to go ahead and use the sidebar stickers. And I'm wanting to pull out, I see that there's a lot of blue already out here. I want to pull these greens. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to pull these greens in and see if I can make those a little more prominent and maybe the pink well and maybe the yellow I don't think I need those I don't what am I going to do this week would be what I would probably do first but I might instead use it 
for something else. Today's not going to do. How about, frankly, it just doesn't bother me that it says something because I think I can probably stick something over it. And what is a little thing anyway? Does anybody really know what a little thing is? I'm going to use the green. I want the green. I guess anything I put in this box is going to be a little thing. It may be my dinners for the week. Sometimes I keep up with that. If I feel like it. I don't guess I could use another green one again. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use these little label things down here, and then I'll put an icon or something, because I think that would be cuter than just the word little things going across there that I don't do. I'm going to do that. I am going to do a tracking, and I'm going to track my gym days. I don't go every day, but I will check off what I do so I can put a little gym icon right there. And then I think just to kind of keep it going. I could just put another little green one down there. Even if it kind of goes with that, I'm not too concerned. And then I'm going to put this down here. And maybe I'll just put dinners down here and whatever comes to mind up here. So that'll work there. Okay. Now with all of this glitter over here, I'm wondering if I shouldn't pull in... I really love this green one. I have like falling in love all of a sudden with green this week so I wonder if I could cut some of this and make more green little strips or something or maybe I'll just this is the fun part to me is trying to decide like what I'm gonna do I really like this and I'm going kind of backwards maybe to figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> Just because I want to add this, I'm going to start with it. And I'm going to put it down in a few boxes. And I'm going to reserve the right to take it up if I don't like it. How's that sound? I'm going to go ahead and do it because I'm really bad at starting something and not continuing with it. So I'm going to put this down in like three spots. So I'm going to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I think I'll put this in the middle. Easier said than done. I want that low. And then I'll be able to put something on top of it. Oh, that middle coil is so hard to work with, y'all. Everybody's going, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay. And then I'm going to put a piece down here on Friday. I think I do want to leave that open, though. No, my sticker didn't make it all the way down, so I am going to lower it. This is a nice washi tape. This is almost like a vinyl, maybe. It's not paper feeling. And it's really kind of fun to work with. It's got a, a lot of good stick to it. I wish I could remember. 
I'm pretty sure it's from the buy sell trade group and one of the ladies I bought it from I would not be able to tell me where she you know possibly where she got it but there it went definitely want to add that in there now I'm going to work around that a little bit and another color I was thinking of adding a little more in here would be this gold but I think I have enough gold foiled stickers that I'm going to be able to bring in the gold so let's go with that as you noticed I did not end up using the peach and the more I'm looking at the peach the more I'm thinking I want to bring it in so I'm going to pull this tape out and leave it handy so that I'll see it and remember it and I really think that's going to look pretty pulled in I really do okay I'm going to start over here by pulling out the heart checklists and I have a thing y'all I really want to figure out a use for these I think they're pretty and they in a lot of different spreads look gorgeous but I'm not I don't enjoy leaving white space in large segments I do however like to see white in between um, things as an edging and the more I've used my planner I have filled up one Erin Condren and uh, a, a whole year worth of an Erin Condren with sticker sheets and stuff and I've done just like total coverage all the way to leaving some large spots of white and I know I don't like that in fact I don't prefer to write on the paper that is on you know in the Erin Condren I prefer to write on the stickers and I like matte sticker paper I don't like glossy I'm a weirdo I know so the dilemma is I really want to learn how to use those but I think I'm going to wait and do that maybe in my B6 planner so that I can use a different paper I don't like the way this paper feels under my pens just me I'm weird so I think I am going to probably end up these are really large because there's only five in a day I'm going to just cut these and I like the brighter colors so I'm going to cut the bottom two off so I want just three what's that size going to get me I think that's going to work so I'm just going to cut these down I don't have to worry about the closing in of a box like if there was a decorative border around it or anything And I'm just going to cut these down and even if I want to use a, a box that has two in it I can do that or I can even cut them in singles aren't those pretty just those pastels at the bottom okay this gives me eight of these to work with and I'm going to start with I think I'm going to start with the yellow up here at the top because I've put green and blue and there's blue and pink right next to it so I'm going to start and put this yellow in here and I'll put it centered I think and leave that little bit of white space on either side and then I'll put one of these down for each day And again I'm really tempted to go ahead and just lay down tape before I think I'm more of a decorative planner than I am a, a uh, what would I call it more concerned about actually putting writing in my books I really want to just open it up and think oh this is so pretty okay now what am I here for <laughs> because I just love the colors and the textures of the stickers so much do y'all ever think that 
you like it more just because it's pretty something pretty to have to write the to do's in huh that's how I am so I'm going to try it this way last night I stayed up late because of course it was the oops bag simply gilded oops bag sale and oh, I was my heart, I already have a problem with my heart. I have those um, episodes where your heart starts beating really fast. <clears throat> and it almost did that last night. <laughs> it almost, I almost had an episode. But thankfully it did not. It did start beating fast. And I thought, oh, this is almost ridiculous to be this nervous. But I'm not going to get an oops bag, you know. But it wasn't particularly the oops bag I wanted. It was those those pinks. Those pink tapes that were oops tapes. I would have probably been very disappointed if I had not gotten one. But I did get one and I was very excited. And if any of y'all get that and you don't like any of those, please contact me. I will buy it from you. Because I thought they were gorgeous and I don't care if they don't stick on their own I have glue and I don't mind using glue y'all have seen me use glue and I keep it handy because I don't mind okay I'm going to put a few of those down and then I'm going to go ahead and do another one of these I'm going to use a pink I think on this one and I'm going to put it down at the bottom. And again, I just plan as the day goes, you know, as we go through our day. Unless there's a doctor's appointment or something like that. Because I stay at home. I don't go out much. And that's the way I like it. That green one down here. I seem to be stair stepping these, but that's all right. I'm glad I went ahead and put the green tape down, the green foil tape, whatever that is, because I really, really like the way that it's helping my planner. I have more green in it for one thing, but I love that texture in here it kind of needed a little something I think oh and if you haven't noticed I am NOT a uh, washi waster I just cringe when I see you girls peel off so much washi tape y'all it kills me I'm sorry but it just it kills me that y'all <laughs> I guess maybe I would say this. Let me let me preface this. My parents both lived through wars, okay? I was brought up to use everything, not waste it. I can remember my dad adding water to the bottom of the ketchup bottle and shaking it up. Okay, that's how I was raised. So that's the that's where I'm coming from is that type of <laughs> mentality is that the is it a bad thing I don't know I think it's a good thing it's just hard to see all of those pretty little bows get cut off and dis discarded especially in the colors I don't have <laughs> I'll take that scrap I'll put it on something okay that's added enough of that and I need to use the blue. Let's use it off of this sheet. I'm sure not going to put it right there. I need to think because I need to put one here and I need to put one here. 
So I'll be putting one here and one here. So I'll put the blue one down here. I'll put that one in the middle. And then I'm going to put another yellow one. Well, that would be two yellows up on the top row. And I can live with that because that's okay. Or that's yellow and that's yellow. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to live with that. And I think I want it near the bottom. And that'll give it a little bit more difference than that one. Still, I'm not going to get that straight, am I? Being ornery. Okay, I think that got it. And so pink and green. Let's put the pink one down and the green one up there. Boy, this little whiteout thing's coming in handy today. Here. I almost messed that up. Okay, I'll put it in the middle right here. Yes, because Saturday is church for us and we don't do just a whole lot other than church okay oh I like that that's pretty okay now got pretty label here we'll most definitely use that let me get rid of the sheets I'm done with now this week I've been busy 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 I have been having a lot of fun and this is part of what I'm going to be showing y'all uh, coming up in a, in a video I'm going to make of my craft area. Uh, just this part of my room. I have a huge basement, y'all. It's the whole bottom of the house. And in this huge basement, I have it kind of separated into different areas. Um, there's the troublesome area. There's a bar area that the previous owner had put in. It's a trouble area, and I keep all my watercolor stuff over there because it's got a little sink next to it. And then uh, the other trouble area to me is the area by the door that goes out to the garage. Again, this is a basement, so it's kind of dark and dreary. My light problems are an issue, of course. As you can tell, there's lights from different sources, and I don't know how to fix that because I don't have room for those big uh, puffy light thingies. I checked into that and it's not going to work in here. So lighting is an issue, but because it's such a large space, oh, the other issue is right next to my desk here is a big, huge wood burning fireplace. Great in the winter time when you're cold, because otherwise you can't be in this room. But it's an issue and it's there I'm not gonna move it out I'm trying to watch my colors here and my patterns I'm gonna put this down here I'm gonna leave room for a label along with that too so I'm just gonna be placing these so what I have been working on are my sticker um, organization or sticker storage and I have been having such a good time I finally my Walmart um, I walked into Walmart a month or so ago and they did not have the binders I was hoping to get 
looked and I looked and I looked and they were reorganizing all of the shelves in there and the shelving and it's not because they're doing school supplies or anything it's just because they were moving things around that's so much white space and I'm gonna put it right down here and I finally I'm I'm one of these people who by the way take pictures of tags on my the products that I want to purchase more than once so I actually had on my phone a picture of the um, binder it was an Avery binder here this is probably not the one that's an Avery binder but it's plain chain white one inch binder right okay that's what I was looking for but I was wanting more than one they had two okay I was really looking for you know maybe 20 of them or just under I, I would take less but they didn't have them so I was like what am I gonna do this is really what I want to do could not find anything like it on Amazon um, and I well maybe I already had one and then I was I got one more maybe that was how that worked but I was kind of like wah you know just wah and not a happy camper so should I use this one yeah why not and anyway, I put it in my cart. And then a little lady walks by that worked there and said, can I help you find anything? And I was like, yes, please. Here's a picture of what I need. Well, she had one of those big gun scanner thingies in her hand. And she says, well, let me see if I can scan that. So I made it bigger on my phone, you know, and she scanned it. And she said, oh, oh, well, I show we have some, but they're discontinuing them. I was like, of course you are. <laughs> Just when I walk in the door, y'all, discontinue what I want. Okay, I'm going to come in with either some labels, these smaller labels up here and down here. Or I'm going to use washi to fill in some of these other spots. So this little lady I cannot give her enough kudos and um, hugs and love and all that this little lady went walking to the back of the store to ask the manager of that section the office supply section if anything was going to take its place and it took her a little while she said I might not find her right away but I will be back I promise she came back it took her a little while to find her and oh wait, I want to put something different there. And she said, I was told they're putting new ones out right now. Oh, well, of course, then my heart kind of thumped like, oh, goody, is it the right size? You know, is this going to work? So sure enough, around the corner that I had not looked because that wasn't in the binder aisle of the store. She rounds a corner. She says, they said they were over here. Well, it's not where binders are located. It was in a total different, y'all, just who thinks of these things? Anyway, it, she found them for me. And so I left that store with an armload of binders that I now have filled every one of them, labeled and filled uh, them all with um, my stickers that I have printed so uh, by the way if you don't know I use a silhouette machine I have a Cameo 3 and I love it it is almost every day almost every day I use that machine I love it a lot and I highly recommend if you have time and are a type of person that likes to make your own stickers or buy on print like these I highly recommend you get one because it is fun once you get past the learning curve which there is one there is a huge learning curve I will say and sometimes I want to throw that machine out the window because I can't figure out my little problem but it is usually my problem not the silhouettes problem 
highly recommend that. And because I had so many problems finding answers at the time I started using my Cameo, I had I started making these little videos and I call them what I wish I had known videos. And so if you are interested in using a silhouette, if you're new to silhouette, or if you want to know how I make stickers and what I do to foil stickers or whatever, I'm, I'm starting more and more um, videos. I'm putting up more and more videos of what I've done, what I've found is helpful, hacks that I use, things like that. So if you're interested, check that out. I, I will link that below so you can actually find just the category for that if you're interested. And I have to say it was those people who had made videos on YouTube that helped me the most learning how to use that machine. That is it has a lot of little things that if one little thing is not clicked or whatever, you might not be able to print, you know. I sound like a Jeff Foxworthy, you know, you might be a redneck. And I think this last spot here I'm gonna put should I try another label? That looks so plain right there. Everything is no design, but I'm gonna leave it there because I think that works. Okay. And I totally, totally forgot. Remember my last plan with me, I used these. I just did not even think. And they're sitting right next to me. See, I'm a ditz. I don't, I don't think. But anyway, everything went with the kit. And that looks great. I'm going to add, since we've got hearts and bows, I, I made these. These are intended to go with these stickers. I foiled just the heart shape, and this is what I have done with them. I've used them a few times, but I've put these little foiled hearts. I made them the same size as the hearts that are on that so that I could foil the hearts, so on the little notes. But, I made a bunch, so what I'm going to do is take probably my tweezers, and this is also on clear sticker paper, and I'm going to put a few of these little gold foiled hearts. I'm thinking I need to probably maybe like on the washi strips I'll put a few here and there on these washies that would be nice if I could center things the first time I know for a fact I cannot lift this though without ripping so I'm not gonna do it I'll put one here looks like I messed that one up I either broke that foiling or it did not foil. I didn't notice that. And I need one kind of maybe up here. Okay. And I did get a new meat machine. I was... Uh, aggravated that my old one broke as easily as it did so I'm not sure I'm ever gonna buy another one let me put it this way because I know that if I get a laminator that is hot enough it will do the same job and that would probably a laminator would would work longer than this fickle mink machine so in the future if that my second machine ends up 
acting up or dying on me, I'm definitely not going to be doing a mink again. So, now, I don't have anything to fill in yet. There's nothing this week that I had pre-planned. I know at some point I'm going to go to Walmart. And today, I, in this little blank right here, I will put that I filmed this plan with me. One of the things that I made and put in my um, binder here, and I'll just show you real quick this part of it. I've labeled each of my binders with what I've, you know, what I'm going to store in it. This one is any sticker that I have that's foiled in gold and rose gold. Okay. And then I'm using the, um, oh, what are those called? The little envelope page protectors. That's what they are. I'm using the page protectors for that. So I had been putting them in a page protector in a B6 planner and trying to just kind of keep everything organized and it was not working. I'm going to pull a July sticker out. I'm really, this is really the first time that I'm using this system. So I want to see how this is going to work. I don't know if y'all noticed that I marked out the July up here knowing I'm going to be putting, ah, I tore it in half. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I make my own stickers, so. I'm just going to pull another one out. I can't believe I just ripped that sucker in half. Okay, I'm going to pull another one. This one's a little larger. And this time I'm going to be more careful. And not use two hands to hold it. And I like to put the month up at the top of my first full box that I put on the sidebar. I like to put that there because it adds some bling. I love bling. Okay. And everything is kind of already organized for me. And all I have to do is flip the pages. And during the week I can come out, come back to the binder. I'll show you what I mean. I can come back to the binder during the week. And if I do laundry, I can pull a laundry sticker. If I film like today, I'm filming. So I'm going to see can pick I think I'm gonna pick a little gold computer because I'm gonna be on it next these are some I've made and these laptops are from be a beautiful planning because they've got a little heart in the side of it and I try really, really, really hard to keep anything that is from a company that I've bought from with their name on it. This is a set I've made for myself. I think I do want this size, though. So I made those. I'm going to pull that out. And since I have a plain, rather plain, washi at the bottom, bottom washi, I'm going to just pull that out, those bows. I'm first going to put this down here because this is where I want to write that I made this video. And I will probably edit it today as well and possibly upload it. I'm pulling these gold hearts because I want to add few of those. I think I'll use maybe this size. Where are those things? Let's see how they turned out. We'll put those up in the corners. I always feel like those corners need a little something extra. Okay. And then these are printed on clear sticker paper. 
So once they're laid down, they're not moving. I thought I would center one on each side down here. I really hope I got that straight. Add a little bit of gold foiling to that. Let me see if I can do it better with this. There. And there it is. Okay. And that's a good start for my week. I feel happy I'm able now to start writing stuff down. I've got a little bit of gold foil in here that'll help. I like the glitter. Really like the glitter. I almost wish I had used more of the glitter tapes throughout. But anyway, that's what it's going to be. And I've got these. Don't know if that yellow is going to be a keeper. I'm probably going to go more with the pink and blue. I wish I had a green bow. I really wish I had a green bow the same color as this washi here. Now what I do have is a green bow that is very uh, St. Patrick's looking. And I don't want it to go that dark. I don't want to pull that one in, I don't think. But now that the whole kit is on the paper, yeah, it's pretty dark. I really wanted to stay more with this light green. So I'm going to put, I like to put my peach palm, any palms, I have a number of companies I've bought from now, but I like to put my palms on the left hand side of my spread because when I close the book or open the book, the left side, it looks the same. On the right side, it doesn't matter if the back of a clip is paper or whatever um, because I'm not looking at it this way. So that's why I always put a clip on the right side. And there are times I like to put more than one. So I'm going to go back a few pages further and put another one. Really need it to have a little more. And I like that. I like the yellow. I wonder if I even, is this too much? If I set this in the middle back here and have it kind of in between those. Can y'all even see that? I don't know. Sometimes I, I think I'm, I'm bow happy, but that's too bad because I like it. So anyway, here's the spread for the week of July 16th through 22nd. I'm excited about the week. It looks fun. It looks like I'm going to have a fun week just because of this. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a wonderful week, a safe week. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.